Magnanimity is not only a fun virtue to say, it is an incredible virtue to have. In fact, I would maintain that magnanimity might be one of the most important virtues. If you want to be a saint, you have to be magnanimous. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. I'm thinking about these two saints. Here's uh, two very, very different saints. One is St. Catherine Drexel. St. Catherine Drexel, born in the United States, and Blessed Solanus Casey. Well, he's blessed, not necessarily declared a saint yet, but also born in the United States. Um, but really, really different, and also really, really the same. So St. Catherine Drexel was an heiress, so she was raised in an incredibly wealthy uh, family. So she, millionaire, multimillionaire, even like way, way, way back when, when um, multimillionaire would be multi, multi millionaire kind of a situation. Blessed is Lana's Casey. I think grew up in Stillwater, Minnesota. So uh, uh, not only is he local to me, but he also is, uh, was in a, from a pretty poor, poor family. St. Catherine Drexel, when she entered religious life, she became a, a, a not only religious sister, she became the, the foundress of a religious community that um, served uh, the Native American people of the United States, that served the African American people of the United States. In fact, she and her sister, her like biological sister, as well as her sister's sisters, like, um, they created groups, they used their wealth, they used their influence, they used their, their, their faith to create institutions and programs that helped um, Native Americans have upward, mo upward mobility and helped African Americans have upward mobility. In fact, uh, Xavier University in um, Louisiana, founded by St. Catherine Drexel and her sisters, the first, the first uh, black university in this country. Um, so did incredible things for so many people that basically she spent her life helping people that others thought were unworthy of help up. On the other hand, Blessed Solanus Casey became a religious brother um, and basically used a broom. I mean, he, he was, you know, he swept the monastery, he answered the door. They call that a porter. Um, he answered the door at the, at the monastery. Um, that's what he did. He, he, whereas Catherine Drexel picked up people who uh, people thought were garbage, plus it's Lana's case, he just picked up garbage. Um, and both of them, both of them, not only are saints, both of them have a virtue in common with each other that uh, I want to talk about today. And that virtue is called magnanimity. Now, there's other important virtues, right? Humility is kind of the, 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 the the initial virtue that all of us need to have. We're we'll talk about that in a second. But also, the virtue of faith, <laughs> very important. Hope, love, the greatest of these is love. Absolutely, very, very essential. But magnanimity is something unique and it is something that you might even say um, takes all these other virtues, the virtue of humility and love and faith and hope and, and, and justice and temperance, all of them and, and raises them to the level of excellence. In fact, that's what it is to be magnanimous. Uh, it, Magnanimity refers to greatness of soul, like magnus and animus, or magna animus is great and anima is your soul. So greatness of soul, greatness of spirit, greatness of heart is another way to say that that's what it is to be, have magna magnanimity. Um, St. Thomas Aquinas said it like this. He said, um, magnanimity is the stretching forth of the mind or stretching forth of the heart, stretching forth of the soul. Let's say this, magnanimity is the stretching forth of the person towards great things, towards excellence, and this is, this is so incredible and so incredibly important because it is not the same thing as pride. There's, there's the prideful person that uh, thinks, well, I rely on my own gifts, uh, that I am great because of myself. Magnanimity says, no, I am recognizing the fact that God gave me certain gifts and that he is calling me towards excellence in those gifts. And so now I have this stretching forth of my soul, stretching forth of my heart, stretching forth of myself towards excellence, towards great things when it comes to using the gifts that God has given me. And this is the, so incredibly important why this is not the same thing as pride. Pride is these are my gifts and I will use them however I see fit. Magnanimity is the Lord has gifted me and now in order to honor him to the degree that he has gifted me, I use these gifts. In fact, you've heard the saying, um, who you are is God's gift to you. Who you become is your gift back to God, right? That, that's kind of, in a nutshell, magnanimity. Who you are is God's gift to you, or the gifts you have are God's gift to you. What you do with them, who you become with them is your gift back to God. And so here's the thing, every saint has to be magnanimous, be magnanimous have that greatness of, of soul, that great stretching forth to do great things, to be great for the Lord. So St. Catherine Drexel, 
she realizes, okay, God has given me all of these gifts, all of these opportunities. He has blessed me abundantly with his love, and so I have to use them to the utmost of my ability. She stretched forth to great things, but so did Blessed Solanus Casey. He's like, the Lord has given me these gifts. And so part of those gifts would be excellence in my small corner of the world. My small corner of the world where I don't necessarily make a name for myself, where no one necessarily knows these gifts that I have. But he also, like St. Catherine Drexel, stretched forth the gifts towards the, using the gifts to which God had given him towards excellence. That's the thing is that, like, if you want to be a saint, if I want to be a saint, I absolutely have to be magnanimous, which means I need to reject any temptation towards the opposite of magnanimity, which is pusillanimity, which is not as fun to say, but it's more difficult. Basically, pusillanimous, to be pusillanimous, is um, littleness of spirit. It's, in some ways, it's timidity. And here's the important thing. Sometimes, well, I said, maybe I said that three times already. Um, sometimes we conflate humility with timidity. That if you're humble, you shrink back. That's not true. If I'm timid, I shrink back. To be humble is to acknowledge the truth. And the truth is, the Lord has given me certain gifts. I have, I bring to this, I bring to the, to the table certain faults. So I have these strengths, I have these weaknesses, I have this grace that he's been given me, I have these sins that I've chosen. Humility acknowledges that truth and then says, in the midst of all of this, now how do I stretch forth towards excellence? In whatever, whatever it is, whatever God has blessed you, whether that is as a mom, as a dad, as a husband, wife, as a single person, whatever task you've been given, whatever gift you've been given to say, okay, mag magnanimity, calls me what? Calls me forth. Calls me forth to excellence. Not to timidity, not to pusillanimity, not to the sense of like pretending at being small. In fact, there's this you know, kind of famous, I don't know if it's a poem or a, a number of stanzas, it doesn't rhyme, so I don't know. But it talks about uh, the temptation we have to play at being small. The temptation we have to, like, to shrink back. And yet, the saint cannot afford to do this. Why? Here's the last thing. Because magnanimity is not honoring oneself. Magnanimity is giving God glory by using the gifts he's given for his glory. And that, that, that's it. It's, it's not, now I'm famous, now I'm influential, now I'm important. It is, I am simply using the gifts God has given me so that he is known more so that he is loved more, so that he is, 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 is glorified and honored more. In fact, the saints have said that the degree to which the person knows the love of God is the degree to which they want to pour forth the love of God in this world. The degree to which you know God's blessings in your life is the degree to which you want to allow those blessings to flow through you to others. The degree to which you know God is good and great and excellent is the degree to which you want to live a life that is good and great and excellent. Stretch forth your mind, your soul, stretch forth your life towards excellence, towards great things, and be magnanimous. Ultimately, take the gifts God's given you and say, Lord, I'm going to do everything I possibly can with these gifts so that you are known, you are loved, you are glorified, and others may be drawn to your goodness through this excellence. Ah, magnanimity, so good. St. Catherine Drexel, pray for us. Blessed Solanus Casey, pray for us. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.